Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Topic NG. Today we're going to talk about Final Fantasy 15. 2016 is a big year for Final Fantasy. After a decade of waiting, fans will finally be able to play the long-standing franchise's latest flagship title, Final Fantasy 15, when it launches next month. But before that comes another important entry in the series, Mobius Final Fantasy, the mobile game which is out today on iOS and Android. Looks to merge two often desperate concepts the approachability of mobile and the epic feel of a console experience. It features beautiful 3D graphics and Square Enix has enlisted some of its most notable talent to work on the game, including producer Yoshinori Kates and writer Kazushik Nohima, both of whom worked on the iconic Final Fantasy VII among other titles in the series. But for Kaitas, it's the flashy graphics that make Mobius a proper Final Fantasy game. When we started the development for Mobius Final Fantasy, I thought about how we would be able to create a mobile app worthy of the Final Fantasy name, he explains. And the answer that we came up with was the story. Mobius opens with your character waking up in a strange land alongside a group of other half-naked, equally confused young men. None of you have any idea where you are or where you came from, but early on you learn that one of you could be the prophet savior of this mysterious realm. Thus starts your pilgrimage through a desolate wasteland to become a hero, guided by a disembodied voice named Vox. From the very beginning, fans will notice familiar Final Fantasy trappings. The Hero of Light, character classes like Onion Knight and Black Mage, and creatures like the cute and cuddly Moogles. Meanwhile, the character designs looked rip from the Grand Fantasy realm of Final Fantasy XII. And even the icon looks like an old school logo painted by Yoshikata Amano. But Mobius doesn't play like any Final Fantasy before it. It's a free-to-play experience built around touch, where the main focus is on character customization and combat. Instead of exploring a vast open world, you're moving along a predetermined path and fighting a series of battles at each stop. There aren't any towns to hang out in or dungeons to conquer. Combat is a snort of mashup of different Final Fantasy battle systems, but with a number of tweaks that make it work on mobile. Battles are turn-based like in the series classic games while the interface has been designed in a very touch-friendly way. The most unique aspect is how you actually perform spells and special attacks. Instead of having a set amount of magic points, you earn them in battle by attacking enemies. The result is battles that zip past you can get through a series of 3 or 4 in just a minute or two, including boss encounters perfect for a game you take with you anywhere. In between those rapid fire battles, you'll spend time tweaking and customizing your character. Mobius uses a deck building system that makes equipping spells and abilities sort of like creating a hand in Magic the Gathering. As you progress and defeat enemies, you'll earn cards, opening up more options for your character. It's actually all fairly complicated until you get the hang of things. Over the first 30 minutes of the game, you'll be subjected to around a half dozen tutorials detailed the many different and sometimes confusing systems in place. Mobius is far from the first time that Square has attempted to take Final Fantasy Mobile. In addition to porting many of the older adventures to smartphones, the company has also released free-to-play spin-offs like Final Fantasy All, The Bravest, and more recently, Final Fantasy Brain Fans. Mobius goes in a different direction, introducing a completely new world and character works as a further flesh out the world. In a sense, we have taken a game design style familiar, simply more simple quests. Fully voiced cutscenes are interspersed amongst the experience, and it feels like the narrative is building towards something big. According to Kaitis, the idea of doing a fully 3D story driven take on Final Fantasy for mobile wasn't initially a popular one inside of Square Enix. The concept of having a rich 3D game on a smartphone itself did not get much understanding from others when we initially started this project, he says. This is because casual games were dominating the app store raking at that time. This is why we intuitively thought that there is value to be found there. Our overall mission was to break this perception that mobile gaming equals casual gaming. Combating this perception is a big reason why Kytus recruited talent that had previously worked on console Final Fantasy games. Composo Mitsudo Suzuki is probably best known for the soundtracks for Final Fantasy XIII's two spin-offs while Toshiyuki Itahana served as an artist and character designer on games like Final Fantasy IX. And the Crystal Chronicles series, arguably the most important piece of the team though, is Nohima 
whose writing has helped define some of the biggest games in the series, starting with Final Fantasy VII and continuing all the way through to Final Fantasy XV next month, with Mobius' grand ambitions to be more than just a mobile time waster, the kind of experience that maintains the same epic feel as one of gaming's biggest franchises had was Paramount. We entrusted Nohima to come up with a new story for Mobius Final Fantasy worthy of a Final Fantasy title, says Kaitis. But anyways guys, that's all I have for Final Fantasy XV. If you guys want to see proof on the news, the link will be in the description. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, a like and a comment would be very appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe for more gaming news videos. See you guys.